And then at the top it says Scorsese movie. Harry always wears this stuff. Oh, stop. Any of my games 2024. <laughs> oh my god, please me the mob wife aesthetic. This is an exciting day because it is my first thrifting video of 2024. I was almost about to say 2023. I'm actually not even kidding. So it's gonna be really fun. I'm honestly so excited. I'm here with my friend Alexa, Alexa Sunshine 83. It's always sunny here, boop. We're doing our first little girls thrifting day of 2024. I'm so, so excited. We actually had to pivot. Uh, we were supposed to go to the Goodwill bins this morning. However, because Los Angeles does not know how to drive in the rain, I mean, it's a whole thing. It took me like almost two hours to get here. Um, so we missed the opening of the bin. So we pivoted, we're at Savers now. And honestly, I'm a little more excited about this. This feels right, it feels exciting. They're gonna open up here shortly. And I just wanna have the freedom to like walk around all the aisles, really take my time looking through the racks and see what exactly it is I'm looking for. As far as like a wish list or things that I would love to thrift today, I don't have anything super particular in mind, but I would love to just have a few more staple pieces, some sweet Sweaters would be cool. If there was like a really cool jacket, I wouldn't be mad at that. Maybe some denim, like some men's denim I might look for today, like some men's kind of baggy Levi's. I'm just gonna look everywhere and try to find everything. I'm honestly so excited. You know you have those thrifting days where you're just like, I don't know, you're filled with so much excitement and joy and hope. Hopefully that's the good thrifting karma. But we'll see what ends up happening. I'm gonna go meet up with Alexa. We're gonna have a little chit chat, catch up. Then we're gonna go thrifting and have a fun little girls day together. So let's do it. Uh, I love thrifting. I love it. Okay, I think my first plan of action is to look through sweaters. I have kind of been on the hunt for a few more winter sweaters, so we're gonna see what we end up finding. They're separated by size, thank God. But we're gonna start with the sweaters and then see where we go from there. I've kind of been on the hunt for like a gray, like a dark gray sort of heathered sweater that is a v-neck and this one is really cute it's by St. John's Bay. It says it's a double XL, but I can tell by looking at it that it's just not the right fit. It's not as oversized as I would want it to be. I may hang on to it and try it on over my clothes. We'll see. It's cute, but we're getting there. We're warming up. I found this Karen Scott one that's really cute. It would be perfect if it was actually a long sleeve, but I think it's like a three quarter sleeve. Ugh, it's okay, we're gonna keep going. I found this Basic Editions super vintage tag, $3.49 for this sweater. It's almost like a chenille type of material. There are a lot of like hanging strings though, so I don't know, we'll see, but this is a good vintage gem. We have a fun little Nightmare Before Christmas cardigan. That's really cute. I am tempted for like Disneyland and stuff, but it's not really the style of cardigan that I would like, so we'll pass on that. Oh my God, this is a relic. Who remembers candies? Is candies even a thing anymore? I don't want this, but wow, what a time. We have a nice vintage, almost like cropped beige colored sweater. It's really cute by Designers Originals. Never heard of it, but nice vintage tag. $11.99 though, I don't know. I might hang on to it. I'm very satisfied with all my vintage tags so far. Look at this cutie. Look at her cute little outfit. I literally, I was gonna wear like, I don't know, just like a simple like whatever. Cause I was like, oh, we're going to the bins. Um, I don't want to dress too cute. But I'm like, Carrie always dresses so oh, cute. Oh, stop. I need to my game, it's 2024. Okay. She I looks adorable. And we saw this, um, this very cute girl, she was wearing a Betty Boop jacket and she's very fashionable and stylish and I saw her you, looking at this so then it made me come over sorry. and start looking at this. Did you see the person with the, with the maxi denim skirt? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. You're gonna be trouble. That's always the funny part about coming to the thrift store these days is when you see someone wearing like a super slayed outfit, you're like, 
don't get all the cute stuff, but no one's been my size yet, so. So this is extremely fuzzy, but I also kind of love it. I'm really in like a cobalt blue phase at the moment. I always steal a sweater that Drew has. This is a medium. It's very stretchy. I don't know how I feel about the material, but we'll hold on to it just to see. Okay, I've got to move out of the sweaters because I have been here entirely too long. <laughs> we need to find more things. <laughs> okay, next up we are going through the women's PJs, nightgowns, etc. section, the lingerie, because my friend Macy taught me that there can be really, really cute like slip dresses and just PJs that you can wear as clothes. So that's what we're gonna look for next. This little dress is so cute. It's definitely not my size. It's by the brand Eden Bloom. Never seen it. It's $5.99. Look how adorable that is. These two little slip dresses are amazing. It's like leopard one. I guess it's got some zebra stripes on it as well. We have this adorable sort of like peachy nude. So cute. Is this a designer? I can't remember. But it's like a cute little matching pajama set. Adorable. This top. So, so cute. Got a little purple moment. That would be a really cute dress. This would be adorable, but it is very see-through. Sorry about the concert in the background. They are really jamming today. I mean, we got a full Sully costume. That's pretty great. This pizza t-shirt? Or a sleep dress, I guess? Kinda cute. In case you wanna wear your pajamas, but also, you know, you need to store something in your pocket. There's cargo pajama pants. Who knew? Kind of an iconic selection of onesies today, to be honest. Okay, that was a bit of a strikeout, but next we're gonna do women's coats. I'm really hoping for some cool coats, but usually in the men's section is when those are better, so we'll see what ends up happening with that. But there is like a decent selection. They have leathers and furs, coats and ski jackets, raincoats. We're gonna take a quick peruse. Okay, let's see what we have so far. We got a little leather jacket moment. Kind of cute. It's more of like a moto style. Oh, it does have like a, I think it has a hood that you can zip off. That's kind of cool. I like this like blue, almost like indigo ski coat. If I skied, I would totally get this with like the little heart zippers. So vintage, so cute. There's a couple random sweaters over here. This one is so cute. I love this little chili pepper, but I saw it walking by on the back. It does say spicy. I don't know if I like that. I would like it if it was just that. I will always have a love for like a, I call this like the British person coat. Like you always see British people wearing these tan colored, usually like a trench raincoat. Probably because it rains there every day. It is cute. This one isn't the one and it's only large, but still cute. Speaking of, here is a nice little vintage London fog coat. Look how cute this is. I've never heard of town from London fog before, but this is like, it's very thick. Like this is a proper coat. $34.99 though, that's kind of crazy. Although I think this is like a ski jacket. So maybe a little more appropriate, but so, so. Cool. I love this little raincoat. It has the leopard liner in it, but I think it's removable as well. And then it's kind of like a, almost like a satiny kind of material. Really, really, really cute. Also loving these like faux fur vests. I've heard that the uh, mob wife aesthetic is in with the young folks now. So you can always find good stuff at the thrift store. This raincoat is phenomenal. It's by the brand Amanda Smith. I went to high school with Amanda Smith. I don't know what size this is. It's made in Korea. It's really, really cute. Like this is a proper raincoat, but it's so nice. I don't really need this. I mean, it is raining today, but that doesn't happen that often. So I'll leave this for someone else. But man, I am obsessed with this. This one too, like so cute. I love a red pea coat. It's giving me like pretty little liars vibes. $16.99 too, really, really not bad but I have no use for it. Oh my God, speaking of the mob wife aesthetic. Wow, this thing is incredible. It's by the brand Monterey Fashions. Wow, this is maybe the thickest jacket I've ever held, but it is so beautiful. Got some more furs. Oh, this is really, really cute. Why do I want this so bad? I have nowhere to wear this, but it's so cute. Dang it. You always want ones you can't have. Like, I would love to be able to wear jackets like this, but I also don't want to be cold all the time. So I guess you win some, you lose some. Okay, we're nearing the end of the coat section, but this London Fog, now this is like vintage, you can tell. This thing is worn. I used to have a London Fog red raincoat when I was little. So this is very nostalgic, and now I'm like, do I get it? No, because I'm not gonna wear it, but it is cute. I don't need any coats. Maybe the men's section will provide, but there are some really, really cute options here. Okay, my next plan of action is to go through the dresses. I, it's kind of hit and miss. I'm gonna take like a quick browse and just see if anything grabs my eye, but you never know. 
It is the dead of winter, but it's also gonna be 77 next week, so might as well look. Okay, this isn't a dress, but this is like a short sleeve blazer, and I've seen so many people style these lately in such a cute way, and I'm kind of tempted, although this is $14.99. It is new with tags. It doesn't say what it originally was. It's a size 12, but I think if it's like just open, it won't matter. I obviously wouldn't wear the strap. I don't know. This is like an experimental thing, and sometimes I can go wrong with that, so we'll see. Um, hello, fearless dress. Like, this is so cute. I love it. She wears high heels, I wear sneakers. We have this nice, um, it's giving like amber from Clueless. It is in a size 1X though, kind of cool. Don't know what brand that is, but pretty cute. I found this dress. This is very 90s vibes, just with the dark and the floral. And this would be really cute with some combat boots and like a denim jacket. I don't know how I feel about the sleeves though. Alexa found this adorable denim dress. It's like in between both of our sizes. It's a large size 12, I guess. And in vintage, like that's just gonna be too small. So it's in between both of us, but how cute is that? Okay, now we're in the pants section. I am on the hunt for a cute pair of pinstripe pants. These are a 14, so I don't know if they'll be the right size, but they do look kind of generous. I would really prefer like a black and white pair, but not the kind that has this at the crotch. Like that looks terrible. I'm kind of just like scanning. I found this pair. This is definitely more along the lines of what I'm looking for. It's a Lane Bryant pair. So I think that's like a plus size store. So I might be able to do a 14. We'll see about these as well. The hunt continues. So Alexa always jokes around in her videos that I always find her things and I bring stuff to her. But look what she just found for I found something. She did it. She was like, hey, what about this? She was like, I know I just thrifted you something like this for thriftness, but look how cute it is. It's cream, so it's not white. Different. It's a diff it's different. Yeah, it's different. It might be a little bit too vague, but it has like little flowers in the lace. I don't know if you're able to see that, like little daisies. It's going in the cart. Okay, for now, the last place that I'm looking in the women's section is the skirts because you never know. I'm really kind of good on skirts in my life. I do also have one in my cart, but you never know what you may find. So we're gonna go through it. Give her the old razzle-dazzle. I found this really cute denim, kind of midi, in between midi and maxi skirt. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's Shein. And like, I try to avoid looking Shein because the quality is trash. But it is a cute little skirt. I also saw this velvet sort of corduroy skirt, and this is much more than maxi. This is vintage Carol Little. Don't know her? but it's a very soft, very stretchy, like bloat friendly skirt. And I know I have plenty of black skirts, but this one's different, okay? They all have different purposes. And it's $4.99. So I think it, I think it needs to go in the car. Okay. Psst, hey, you, the one with all the clothes in your closet you haven't worn in years. Oh, and you, with how many dishes you get to you? It's time to reset. All right, it's about that time to head to you have no idea how hard it's been to film. <laughs> Obviously they have a job to do, it's fine. It's time to head into the men's section. I'm gonna start with the jackets, move into the pants, see if there's any sweatshirts or tops or anything like that, because the men's section is usually where it's at. So let's test it out. Is this the men's version of the women's graphic tees? Love that for them. Okay, so the jackets were a strikeout, but I was walking by the pants and this pair kind of jumped out at me. They were literally just sitting out like this and they are in my size, so obviously we're gonna have to dry them. And then I saw this pair. These are like a Hugo Boss pair, which look a little more high-waisted than what I would want. But then I found this tag. I was like, what is this tag? And I was like, what does this say? It says made in Slovenia. Okay, that's interesting. And then at the top it says Scorsese movie. So are these like a pair of pants from a Martin Scorsese movie? I will be trying these on. There are so many men's hats at this thrift store as well that like I don't think I could possibly get through all of them But I do want to look through some because I'm always on the hunt for like a good trucker hat. So we'll see I 
I feel like Alexa and I have been inside this thrift store for like eight hours. Like it feels like we've already been here all day and yet we haven't even been through half of it. It's just, it's a, it's a lot to go through, I guess. But I just turned the corner in the men's section for the t-shirts and I found this shirt. This Bob's Burger shirt, iconic for $4.49. Yes, please, Drew is gonna be so happy. I'm also gonna wear it. That is an absolute gem of a t-shirt. And it's worn in, yes, please. Okay, you know what's actually surprising me right now is there aren't many men's jeans, at least in the sizes that I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a true baggy pair of men's jeans and the only ones I think might work are these Levi's 569s and it says they're a loose straight fit. They're not like the greatest wash in the world, but they're also not terrible, so we'll see. I just want nice and baggy and loose, so maybe I might even size up, but even so, there aren't any good Levi's to choose from, which is surprising, because usually they're like overflowing in the men's section. That is so cute with what you have on. Look at these little handmade, I think these are handmade mittens. I wish I like had somewhere to wear these, but I feel like I should leave them. Looks like there might be a few like handmade things oh, in here. This. Yeah. Flower. Oh my oh, god, stop it. That is really cute. <laughs> How does it look on me? It looks so cute on you. <laughs> Found this cute little scarf. I've been really into these like kind of striped scarves lately, so I might have to get this one. Somebody handmade like a bunch of stuff. Like there's a ton of hats and headbands and scarves and like so many things. And you can tell they're handmade all by like the same person. I mean, they have to be. They have so many amazing knitting projects. So sweet, there's so much of that. I love it. I should learn how to knit, but we'll see. Okay, me. Chances are, you need to get on That's me. You got a competitor over there, too. <laughs> She's my friend. <laughs> oh, so are you a YouTuber? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I'll try. Okay, after much time, we've literally been at this thrift store for like two hours <laughs> and much deliberation. I have made my selections. We are gonna go pay and get me away from this place because I am going to buy everything. Alas, our thrifting day has come to an end. You found some good stuff, huh? Uh, some like wish list stuff. And we both just realized it's our first thrifting video of 2024 and it, we had to have it together, didn't mm -hmm. we? It just had to be that way. Mm -hmm. So anyway, now we're gonna get some coffee. Make sure you watch Alexa's video to see what she got, and we will catch up with you in a bit. All right, I made it home, got all of my thrifted goodies right here, and I spent a total of, I believe, $60. Just kidding, $70.62. So yeah, I got like two bags full of stuff. Honestly, I probably could have fit it all in one bag. I was just feeling lazy with my folding, but I did have to narrow quite a few things down, and I think I'm pretty happy with what I ended up with. So here is everything I got in no particular order. The first one, which is at the top of the pile because I had to show Drew as soon as we got home because I got it for him and me to share. And that is this Bob's Burger shirt. I freaking love this shirt. I think this is such a good find. It was $4.49, so a really good price. And this is one of our favorite shows. Definitely one of Drew's favorite shows that he got me into as well. It's just like a comfort show. When it's on, I just feel like cozy and happy and comfy. And it's freaking hilarious. Like, I just love it. So it's got the whole Belcher family on there. We love to see it. So I was happy about that. The next thing I got, which this was the most difficult thing, I ended up taking out Alexa's measuring tape at the end because I was like, hold up, we got to make sure that all of the fit is right. I did let the Martin Scorsese pants go, unfortunately. Um, they just weren't my size. I think they had been originally in my size and then they'd been tailored in. And I was like, I'm going to leave those for someone else who like, that's the perfect pant for them. Although, I don't know, I just hope that more people look inside the tag and see. That, that has to be what that was. Either way, it was really cool to see anyways, but the ones that I did end up getting, it doesn't even say a brand or a tag or anything on these, but it is my correct size and it's this high-waisted pair that I think will be really cool. It's the pair that has like kind of a hemmed like 
cuff at the bottom and I just think they're really tailored and nice. I think it's gonna be so cute with pretty much exactly what I have on right now, like a cropped white tee, some sambas would be really cute, some boots would be really cute. Just like make it nice and casual. So love those. These were $7.29. So I think these were the cheapest of all of the pants that I was looking at as well. And kind of the most baggy and like overall the look that I was going for the most. So those are exciting. Next for the most baggy, I'm really, really hoping <laughs> that these jeans work out Basically on a normal day where I go to a thrift store, I will try to wear like a maxi skirt with some bike shorts underneath so I can just like slip on pants underneath my skirt type of thing if I need to, but I thought I was going to the bins this morning. I didn't think that would be happening. So I wasn't prepared, but I really wanted a nice loose baggy pair of men's jeans as I mentioned. So I was going back and forth between this pair and a Levi's pair. These are a Kirkland pair, which I think is like Costco or Walmart or something, but these are a size bigger than I normally take. So I was like, you know what? I think these will actually be a little bit better and I liked the wash. It's weird though, because usually at the thrift store, they were just like overflowing with men's Levi's jeans, but there were a lot of young stylish people at the thrift store today. It looked like a lot of resellers as well. So they were probably snatching everything up, but I did find these and they're kind of like a medium wash, like a light to medium wash. And I'm really hoping that they're the baggy jeans that I'm looking for. If not, I can either donate them, resell them, whatever. They were $13.49, which to me just feels insanely priced for a pair of secondhand jeans, however, I've easily paid over a hundred dollars for new pairs of jeans So it's like if it's 13 compared to hundred, it's really not that bad But yeah, we'll try them on you'll see before I will I'm gonna wash and sanitize all of this stuff like immediately But I wanted to show you first so we'll see in the try on okay next I did go for this sweater, which is by Vince Camuto. It's like a nice oversized just plain and simple gray sweater like a nice light gray sweater I have like a lot of ivory sweaters. I have brown sweaters things like that But I don't have any gray that actually fit me in or nice and oversized. So I thought this would just be a nice simple one. This was $10.29. This, I would say this thrift store particularly is like one of the higher priced thrift stores that I go to, but it just kind of is what it is. So I mean, 10 bucks for a sweater that's really, really cute in like pretty mint condition and is like nice and soft and cozy is fine with me. I think that sweater would be really cute with the baggy jeans as well. I think that would be Freaking adorable. And then for the next piece, even though I do have one that is kind of similar that Alexa thrifted for me, she did find this one as well. This one was $9.49 and it is this really pretty maxi skirt that's kind of like an ivory color. It's a bit different too, because I think there's a slip underneath and then it's kind of sheer at the bottom and it's very lacy, very gorgeous. It has like some daisies, like some floral print inside of the actual lace pattern as well. So it just makes it really pretty. I love being able to wear maxi skirts with like long sleeve stuff in the winter in California because it's just so nice out. So I love that. Under $10 too, so you can't really beat it. Okay, next onto the second bag. This was a kind of last second impulse decision, but I did end up picking the Oscar the Grouch sweater and putting it back in my cart. I was like, I can't live without it. It's by the brand called Swoon. It says it's in a size medium, but it does look pretty oversized to me. And honestly, I think it's gonna be just fine. And like, I was like, okay, it's too fuzzy. It looks like a Sesame Street character, whatever. You can see it a lot better in this camera, I think. Like it shows how fuzzy it is in person, but I think I kind of like that. I like that it's funky and I like that it's fuzzy. And I think with like a white t-shirt underneath, it's it's gonna be really cute. And I love this color. Drew has a sweater that I actually wore in a recent video. I think it was my 2023 favorites video and I steal it from him all the time. So I was like, I gotta get my own. And I think this is so freaking cute. Like, look how cute this is with these glasses and like some black pants or something. Uh, adorable. This one was 10.29. So again, kind of expensive, but it's par for the course. I was in Orange County, it's expensive. Okay, the last sweater I did end up getting because I have to talk myself out of this weird phase of life that I'm in at the moment where I think that everything needs to be like three sizes too big. Um, so I'm trying to just get a little bit more comfy with my body and not wear everything so oversized. It's like stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit, but I think this was one of the first items I found of the day and I did decide to keep it. And it is the St. John's Bay Vintage 
cotton sweater. Oh, it's so pretty. And I just think again, like because of the V-neck, I think a little white tee underneath would be super cute. Very cute with like the baggy jeans and like my Sambas would be adorable. A maxi skirt moment would also be really, really cute. So it's very, I mean, it's a gray sweater. It goes with quite literally everything. So this one was 10.29 again. And then last but not least, I did end up getting another black maxi skirt. I will never stop buying black skirts because you need different ones for different things. I don't need to explain. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But this is by the brand Carol Little. It's a size 1X, but I mean, in vintage sizing, that can be anything. This was $4.99, so a really good price. It has the stretchiest waist, like so, so comfortable. And then it's got the really pretty corduroy. It's got a little bit of a slit in the back, adorable. This is very, very 90s to me. It probably was made in the 90s, honestly, and I love it. It's just a nice, simple skirt that will go with so many different things. It does sort of give Give me like you have to be careful with what you wear with this because you don't want to look too much of like a choir concert type of vibe but I just think it's so adorable and it's like a very very good price on top of that as well so that is everything I got at the thrift store I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for just allowing us to do this for our job and to meet up and go thrifting and show you all the fun things we got and hopefully inspire you to want to thrift some stuff of your own I know for me anyway when I watch thrifting videos I'm like I cannot wait to go thrifting so hopefully that will inspire you to do the same. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!